Head over keels. Actual naval stories. Dangerous mirage. This story happened at the end of the third day of the Battle of the Coral Sea, where the Imperial Japanese Navy fought against the US fleet. A group of Japanese aircraft was returning to their carrier. The pilots were extremely tired and flew with all their remaining strength. Only a couple of minutes earlier, their wing was attacked by F-4F Wildcat fighters. The Japanese lost nine planes. Before takeoff, the wing's commander, Takahashi Kakuichi, was tasked with finding and attacking the US aircraft carrier formation. After several hours of unsuccessful searching in the stormy sea, the commander gave the order to drop all torpedoes and bombs and return to the carrier. The pilots were absolutely exhausted when they spotted an aircraft carrier silhouette. They gathered what little strength they had left, turned on their landing lights and began the descent. The leading plane was about to touch down when the pilot suddenly realized that he was going to land on an American aircraft carrier. The Japanese bomber roared across the deck and zoomed back into the sky. Takahashi despaired. The enemy moved serenely below him and he had nothing to hit it with. The Americans finally sounded the alarm and opened fire on the Japanese aircraft, but they had already disappeared into the night sky. Meanwhile, on the Japanese aircraft carrier bridge, Rear Admiral Hara took a huge risk. He ordered his men to turn on the searchlights to help Takahashi's wing get back. The pilots rushed desperately to the saving light. To them, the whole world shrank to the size of that flight deck. Of the 27 aircraft that had flown in that mission, only six planes were able to return and safely land on the carrier.